My name is Ryan Skinner, and I am the lead vermiculturist at Raw Sustainable Living. Um, at Raw Sustainable Living, we create worm castings. All right, so how do you do worm composting? Worm composting, like I said, is simple, but if, if you have any background knowledge in, in composting, it will definitely help. But basically what we're doing is we're mixing things together to kind of give a ratio of what we call brown and green. Uh, brown materials are things like paper, cardboard, shredded leaves. You can use wood chips even, peat moss or cocoa core. There's a lot of browns, but basically what we're trying to do is create uh, a nice rich bedding material. And sometimes using a mix of these is, is a good idea. As far as browns go, I really love using um, old cartons. This is a paper product, right? Sometimes egg crates or the little drink carriers work really well. I tend to leave these in the worm bin to get a little bit moist overnight. And then I come back and I just will hand tear them down. Another great one is we all have a lot of paper products coming in. And if we can just get a simple office paper shredder and shred them down, uh, we can create a really nice carbon rich uh, bedding material for our worms. You can even use cardboard. So this is some famous online shopping company's box. The caveat with that is I would want to take off um, any of these bits of tape. They tend to have uh, plastic fibers in the tape for reinforcement. And labels um, aren't generally the best, but those, those I like to peel off as well. And sometimes I notice that they're there and the worms have already eaten through them be before I've noticed. But this is a great material. Um, if you get a really nice shredder, you can shred cardboard. I think you need something like a seven, seven sheets or more and do it slowly. Um, but I tend to just hand do these as well. Um, I'll let those again soak overnight, uh, soak. I'll just leave in the humid environment of the worm bin overnight and then I'll just hand tear them. It also is nice because uh, if you leave them in overnight, the glues on these things will soften and then they just peel right off. So cardboard is another great brown. Shredded leaves, this is the great time of year. Um, we're getting a lot of leaves. If you're breaking your leaf piles, you're creating a lot of browns that are, when they're, they're up in the leaf or in the, in the canopy of the tree, the tree is collecting minerals inside of those leaves and it's going to deposit them down on the ground. Typically in the forest environment, it's turning it into soil for itself in the future, but we can take that, you know, we'll clean up our lawns a little bit and shred those leaves up. Um, it's important to shred them because if you've done any leaving leaf piles uh, alone, they tend to, the leaves tend to stack on each other and you'll get uh, no oxygen flow and they'll mat together. And then you'll create an anaerobic environment in your worm bin. So I recommend definitely shredding them, getting them fine. Uh, my first worm bin that I ever did was purely leaves. I filled the whole thing to the brim with just fall leaves that have been shredded and then I started tucking in my food waste. And in the springtime, it was all compost. It was really awesome to be able to take something that uh, most people would just throw to the curb and send to the landfill um, and turn that into garden soil. So shredded leaves are really awesome. You can also buy materials. I definitely would lean against buying materials, but peat moss is uh, a really great material for, for worms because it holds a lot of moisture. It's, it's carbon rich too. It's going to, you know, it's, it's going to accept a lot of food waste before um, things start to get in balance. Coconut core uh, is another one. Again, that's a more sustainable one that you can, you can use that you can buy bricks and they expand and you can put them in the worm bin. Sometimes those can come with salts. So definitely pre-rinse those. There's wood chips. Uh, wood chips are going to be a lot slower for you because they are, you know, like 100, 200, or even 500, depending on uh, your wood variety as far as carbon ratio, 500 to 1. So they're going to take a long time to break down, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, sometimes I'll mix wood chips in, just a smaller wood chips into my full bedding. I like to have a variety. Like, you know, I'll have paper, I'll have cardboard, um, I'll have these drink containers, I'll have some wood chips. Uh, just to give it um, more diversity. Because what you're actually creating in the worm bin is, is a little uh, microcosm of, of microbes. And they're all taking care of the bacteria living on surfaces, the worms are eating them, fungi is growing. Um, those, those things are all the more biodiversity you create, the better soil you're going to create in the end. So adding a diversity of materials in is always preferred. 
a lot of your vegetable food wastes are going to be green. Uh, grasses are going to be green. Um, if you're pulling some something out of a, a pond, like if you have...